Hello guys, and welcome to a new video. Well, today, finally they updated the mod. It took so damn long. But anyway, well, it didn't take that long, but I mean, in like days. It's probably harder than you think. Now, today, there's a lot of places to play. And I, and there's a place that I probably should have played in the past, but I didn't. And that's Pennsylvania. Since they have their own focus stream, because they were like, the second biggest state at the time behind well New York but I mean it's basically the biggest now but they're in an alliance so yeah it's, it's a game. <clears throat> but well I played PA a lot and I know like the ins and outs ins and outs of the focus tree how to like the best way to play it and a lot of it takes a lot of speed so Tonight we're going to be playing PA, and should I turn on historical AI yeah, focuses on? Uh, I think I'll just keep it off. I'd rather have a week Louisiana and a week Ohio, so that I can take advantage of that later in the game. So anyway, let's get started. So, I mean, playing PA isn't is always like journey kind of you go from the bottom and then you get all the way to the top which is kind of if you actually play it right but there's a lot of other ways to play it too because you can get tons of troops as pa but at start you're even poorer than new jersey and well you're around the same amount of being poor as well upstate new york which is kind of weird why they exist in this game, but like New York City exists, yeah, and sometimes they pose problems. Now Pennsylvania rarely goes the way that it, that I'm gonna go, which is fascist. But the way to do it is to get this late election. Now, at the start of the game, you have like this: the widespread strikes. If you embrace the strikes, well, then you can go anarchist, which is which I might do in another video. I try to like. I think I might start like a little series doing all the focuses of PA. Now, there's another. Now, if you, I told you, but if you work to improve the situation, you get a lot of bad buffs. But that's better than, well, becoming anarchists. Since I mean, why would you want to become anarchist right now? So, I'll start getting ready if I stuff. And also, since the new supply update happened and all that stuff, it's like different. So, well, the infrastructure is kind of sick. But anyway, I'll get doing this stuff. And once I'm ready, I'll tell you what I'm doing. Okay, so, <clears throat> we've just went down. Our fascist path with Fritz Julius Kuhn. I think that's how I say. That's how you say it. I heard something. But anyway, we're probably gonna want to start Germanizing Pennsylvania, as well. That makes most sense since it gives us a ton of ability. And I'm also gonna purchase some weapons, which is a feature in this game, which isn't really used too much. Well, sometimes it's used, but not that often since. Well, I've never really seen very many people play this mod before, so it's not really that big of a mod anyway. But it is the biggest North American mod, definitely. And I don't know what this line is doing here. But anyway, attacking New York shall be our main priority. Now, this kind of looks a bit stupid, but it's not. Because, well, actually, I think it would be better to... Just, I saw, like, if you justify on Puppet, it doesn't bring all attention up that much. But, I just lost much political power. Now I can justify it, so. Why is that Alsace Lorraine? That's Staten Island. Whatever, I want Staten Island. I need it for my country to grow. Now, buying those weapons definitely improved my troops, like, a lot. So, the reason why I'm attacking New York this early 
that is because, well, it makes sense. Because, like, New York at this point isn't very big. So, why wouldn't I attack it? So, anyway, I'll probably get to attacking it. And also building some railroads since I need those, like, do anything. Okay, I'll see. Okay, so we just got the justification on, um, well, uh, New York City for Alsace Lorraine, which they some reason have. Okay, so never and New York because they own that particular place. Now, the thing that I'm gonna want to do is basically make my way up through here because these are some big cities, and I kind of want those big cities. Now, I'm also going to have to make my way around these lines, because there's like these giant holes in their lines, and trapping all those troops is just like what they want. So, um, so taking Greater Albany probably work too, since, and then moving our way up to Albany, because if we take that, then they're basically out, since most of this is not very... Well, they have a lot of trains, but they have a lot of these big cities. Okay, let's see how this works. I'll probably come back if I start winning. Which is most likely. Although this new update could have some problems with that. Okay, so this war might not be looking so good. But it is. Look, And, well, I don't really see New York as providing very much of a threat after this. But, they could. They could definitely. But, there's, I don't know. Um, how many troops do they have? Not very many. I think, yeah, I have more troops than them, so. And I have some more on the way. Probably never coming, since I don't have any guns. Although, can I buy guns anyway? No, I can't. But, I can make more guns, which is a good thing about this game. But, the borders might not look too good, but the war is going to end. So, that's all I'm looking for. Okay, I'll see you. Okay, so we have just taken out New York City. Now, that means we have a lot more manpower. And also, it basically means New York is dead. And we got a lot of, well, factories now. Well, mostly for, like, vessels and stuff. But this is definitely a one war. So... Well, I guess it's over for them. And, well, we'll be done with this war soon. I'll be home. Not by Christmas, but near Christmas. That's, that's good. And also, I think the supply situation has improved a bit more. Like, since, we took in, since we've taken most of the areas. And also New York City, which has a ton of supply because it's a city. Okay, I'll get back to the game. Okay, so we have just won the war, and like, as soon as I said we were gonna win, we won. Now, some of the New York states kind of confusing, like, why is this one Mexico City? Whatever. I'll just take all of New York upstate. And, you know what, let's, why don't I take the city of town? So, now, once we're done with this piece of deal, we have a ton more manpower. Well, not not manpower, like, well, we won't get horrors on this, so that's not very fun, but, well, it's okay. Well, anyway, let's start building up a military and possibly attack more places because, well, New York would be the only problem in our way with that. And although Massachusetts probably will, well, actually, they might not go fascist. I think that's a, it's most likely they won't. So that's good. Okay, guys, just in like every other game I played, Ohio is declared war on Indiana. Now, I think I want to get involved. Now, if we win, then I can just take a lot of Ohio. Because I have declared that peak is called racism. So, taking Ohio, probably be easy. Especially because my line 
has a lot of supply. I've been building a lot. And on Maryland's border, but I've also been building a lot. But that's mostly because I plan to invade it. And I might also build, like, once I get more territory, I'll build probably near in West Virginia so that I can actually have supply. Because I'm going to have to invade that. And it's not very fun to invade West Virginia. Because they get a lot of troops somehow. Because they don't actually leave them. Manpower. So, anyway. I'm getting ready to invade Ohio. And I'll tell you when I'm going to. Okay, bye. Okay, guys. We just justified on Ohio. It only took 40 days. Now. It's probably going to be pretty easy. Since I actually have enough air force to actually use this area. Then it'll probably be easier. Since I can just get oil. And they can't. Because they're using... Well, actually they have oil. But I have a ton more. Well, not really. But anyway. I have a ton of materials, which is good. And actually... Yeah, I need these. But anyway, I'm probably just gonna let them, like, wait and wait. And at the right time, I'm gonna attack them. So, anyway, let's get into this. Okay, guys, just beat Ohio, which was actually pretty easy. And also, Kentucky got a lot of war score. Just take that away. Okay, so since Ohio is dead, it's probably gonna be... Well, I think that I deserve... Well, not just this, but like, probably more, because I have cores on all this, and I kind of just... Well, this is going to be... Well, not that much time, it's not really got, like, two wars, wars, but... Just all in between. But now our empire is actually looking pretty good, and also I annexed Delaware. Nobody really cares about Delaware. So. But now I've got a lot of factories. So. And also these guys are all in supply. Now, I've been building up a bit, but I'm not fully built up. I need to add more. Get more troops. And I'll probably start training them some tanks, because I've been researching tanks. So, see ya. Once I get those done. Okay, so we just got the justification on Maryland. Now we're gonna just. Well, this should be easy. Okay, so we've just annexed Maryland. Now, I had to do a little cheating, but that was because Arkansas kind of like just entered for some reason. I don't, I don't really want to go over there. And I think. If you like the situation. But I'm not gonna cheat. I'm just gonna, I'm gonna let them be free. Because I really don't want to deal with that. And also, this. I, um, I just don't want to deal with it. So I'll release it. Just dissolve. So, so, you know, back to being commie, I guess. But anyway, they hate me now. Just like everyone else, so. And that's not built up a bit while I was attacking them, but they are also rebelling, so that's kind of... Mm. But, anyway, I think my next target will be New Jersey, since they're also pretty small and pretty weak during this part of the game. And also, I, have a, I believe I have a ton of supply over there, so I can just add more. I haven't really been doing anything wrong with this guy. Adding too much supply. But, yeah, it, it'll now be supply. Be supply. So, much supply there is on it. Because, well, you know, a lot of people live in here and stuff. But, also, yeah, just add So that. City and stuff, and actually have support, which would be good. Okay, so now I'll start getting the focus. Which, yep, it's um, okay. So I have the war going on there, and well, I'm not just gonna rush at them, 
I think they have more troops than me. Yeah, they do. But I'll just, like, probably just have their superiority. Superiority. And also naval superiority, because they're pretty small and they don't have navy. Plus, I can just get more troops. They can't really. I'll just add some more here, just in case. So. It's probably gonna be harder than that. We can do a really big empire with a really tiny, small state. Okay, let's see. Okay, so I've just taken out New Jersey pretty hard, actually. But it's done. Fine. This middle area is kind of hard. But now I gotta take out some other states. Now. I think I'm probably gonna go for like either Kentucky and Indiana or West Virginia. But looking at like West Virginia's troop count versus well, well actually I have a lot more troops than them, but they have a lot of mountains. I don't have a lot of mountains. And that could be a problem because well I do have mountains like right here, but what I meant to say was that well gonna be hard fighting through the mountains. So instead probably I'll take out Kin Kingdom of Kentucky. It's kinda weird, but I guess I'll take them out and well then I'll just invade through Charleston into West Virginia. Okay, so. okay guys, so we're about to well invade Kentucky. Now they are guaranteed by Indiana, so um, this probably won't be too much when they immediately try. But and then that they probably don't have. Oh, I said do that. Well, one thing that they probably don't have too much of is air superiority. So just. And so I'm I'm gonna see if this like if it actually Yep, they'll probably not be able to make too far to our territory. So Yeah, I guess I'll just wait it out. Okay, so I've gotten a few encirclements and yep, so I've got encirclement. But anyway, oh, But, I think all that's really left now is really the remnants of Indiana and Kentucky. So, let me just look at this. Yeah. So we're basically winning. Indiana's almost dead. And I haven't touched Kentucky, because why would I want to touch that when it's all separated by the river? Now, once I'm done, it's almost for basically everyone else. And I think this will probably be the biggest problem. This is definitely one of the, the, the biggest problems so far. So um, I'm just gonna get back to this. Okay, so just capitulated Indiana. Now I'm just gonna take everything because I'm kind of tired of this war. And well. I just kind of wanted to be over so that I can get onto that. These are places I can Now, now that if we, now that like, well, Indiana's dead, now I can focus on Kentucky, which shall be easy since they don't have that many troops. Now, here comes the horde. And let's see if I can like, get some fly down here, because there's not very much over here. Oh yeah, I can. There's more supply. Yeah, there's definitely gonna be enough supply for everything. Okay. Okay, that's probably enough. Uh, well, not enough. It's definitely not enough. We need more supply. Though. But maybe like gigs.
Okay, I'll get killing Kentucky. I'll be able to do it definitely. Unless they somehow might come back, which they probably aren't gonna do. Okay, so I'm just taking out Kentucky and well, I guess it's now Pennsylvanian fried chicken. That wasn't funny, but I mean, well, I just taken over Kentucky. But I guess that's pretty, pretty cheap. But now the empire is starting to look well amazing because, well, I have a ton of troops. I have a ton of land. If I had a ton of troops, I actually do have tons of troops. I don't think Pennsylvania in real life could actually do this, but it'd be cool if they did. But anyway, I think the next target is probably going to be Illinois. Now, they have a ton of troops, but you know who else has a ton of troops? I do. Or maybe Michigan. Do they? <laughs> Michigan? What happened to you? I'm gonna, I'm gonna go for Michigan. They seem like they're pretty weak at this point. Do I even have supply up there? I probably don't have enough supply up there. But I don't really think it matters at this point. Okay, I've done absolutely no research. I have been sitting here for nothing. Okay, I'll see you soon. Okay, so now we have a justification on Michigan. Now, if this is correct, then when I press this button, this should be great. I just, I just love watching this. Oh. Really? Again? Arkansas, you're gonna make me do this again. I'm gonna have to do that. Wait, how many troops do you have? 56. Well, I'm not taking out West Florida. That's all. I might try to take out Arkansas. But I, then again, I don't really want to start a naval invasion. So I think I might just have to do that again. I don't like doing that, but I have to. So anyway, I'll see you. Well, actually, maybe this will work so fast that I just. I'm to the cap. Okay, awesome. Okay, so I might have done a little bit of cheating, but if Oh there's chat to make you Well if I didn't do it I think it would just last forever because I think Tennessee has like hundred of troops. So I just moved them through Tennessee and X Alabama. Well, I'll just give it back to them anyway. Just steal them. Oh and also what's the floor? I think I might just leave it. And just back. And I'm gonna then attack nationalists in Illinois. Okay, I guess. Okay, so now we have a justification for war in Illinois. Now, do they have it? No, there's just no impression back. Okay. Oh, and also, they're going to war with Arkansas, which is four troops. Okay. So, I can just declare a war right now. And the thing is, uh, I think they have more troops than me. But. Just over with my air security stuff. So I think I'll just do that. Yeah. Oh, we know. So let's go. Okay, I'll probably be able to take them out because they don't have supply down here. I could probably maybe make a way through here into the heartland or something. Okay, see. Okay, so we have one against Illinois. That was actually pretty hard at the beginning, but it's pretty easy once you actually start doing it now. I can't end this one yet, so I'll just wait. Take it. Yeah. So, I think maybe we can try to take out the farmer place. 
this is up here, but yeah. Uh, well, actually, how many troops does West Virginia have? Oh, not too many. I think I might try to take them out. Do I have any supply over there? Okay, now I have a bit more. So this will be a pretty big problem in invading West Virginia. Since it does head to the mountains and... Well... Oh, uh, this is a lot of stuff I have to repair. But anyway... I think... Supply hub probably won't need... Since there's like no supply right there. So... I think I might just wait until those supply hubs are done to actually invade. But in the meanwhile... I think I... Maybe I can invade Iowa. I don't know. It's like a lot of these focuses, which I don't have to do because I did like one. But oh, I have to take out Wisconsin first. Oh. That's okay, I guess. Oh. Well, anyway. I mean, I think taking out Wisconsin will be pretty easy. So I'm going to do that first. Okay, so there's not very much supply up here, but I think if we can make it like further in to the interior of Wyoming, well not Wyoming, uh, Wisconsin, then we'll probably get more supply. Plus they're not very big militarily, so. Oh, and they might not even call it. They would have air superiority, which is good. Well, yeah, it'll probably be pretty okay for me. Just throw airplanes into this country. Oh, that's so that isn't too good. But um, wait, what? Okay, I'll, I'll get back to that. Okay, so we've just taken out, well, these farming nations, I guess. That's basically what they are in, that, in this game. But now they are part of the Empire. Just not the Empire. <laughs> but we're very close to forming German American Bund. Whatever you want to say. But. I think I'm gonna wait to take out West Virginia. I might. I think I want to take out North Dakota actually because they're about to die. I think. My mouse. Okay. Okay, so I've got the justification on. North Dakota. And although I really don't have to, I think I might do something. So all these. Planes. And then after that, <coughs> okay. it just goes. Bismarck by Christmas. Yeah, definitely Christmas actually. But oh one well, brush pack. No, I'm gonna I'm gonna probably just take on this. The lane, which they have, I guess. So this is probably the easiest of all of my invasions so far. Which is says something about North Dakota. They're pretty easy to invade, so... I think after this, I'm probably going to invade Iowa, because... They don't have very many troops either, and... Well, basically the rest of this is just... Well, except for Missouri, which... Is... Oh, they don't, actually. Maybe it's because they went fascist this time. I don't know why they... So, I don't know why. 
Oh, cans? I think I might need to. Do but... Oh, no. Does Colorado have a focus stream? No, they don't. I think it's just a... Uh, Colorado or something. Um, okay, so... That was probably the easiest invasion I've done so far. Now, I didn't get very much war score. But since I have player like peace conferences on, I can just take whatever I want. So, I think that's what I'm, I'm just gonna take everything. Because I need this quarters. So I'm on to It's now right <laughs> He lives all the way out here. And you guys haven't been garrisoning him, so. You also probably hate me now. So does South Dakota. I think I might have to deal with them right now, because they hate me. Do I have a yes I do? Do they have very many troops? No. So this is gonna be easy. Also they want social stuff. Oh, where do my where do my troops go? I think it I think the game broke or something. Something happened. Okay, so we got the justification of war in South Dakota. Now, South, I've played it before. Yes. And the thing is, is that they don't have very many troops ever. So this will be pretty easy. Yeah, because they have like, no troops. So, maybe this will be easy, or maybe this will be extremely hard. No. It could be both. Oh. If West Florida were... Bama. Yeah. I don't know why it's conservatism now. But... We're also losing tons of troops due to attrition and stuff, but I mean... It's not really like we need supply. But, well, we do need supply. Oh, and also somehow they're winning the war in the because all these planes. Okay, so we've just taken out South Dakota, which was also extremely easy. Well, except for the interest. We don't really have supply on here, which is a, which makes playing these nations nowadays pretty bad. So I think now it's time for me to finally invade Iowa, and then after that I'll probably invade West Virginia. Because why wouldn't I? It's it's really not fun to do that. I remember playing this mod, like probably around. Like, a lot of months ago, and I remember invading West Virginia. Like, well, I didn't invade New York back then, but like, because I didn't know very much about it. But I invaded it, and it was hard. So, it'll probably be easy because now there's like this hole in the line, so I can take out all the cities before having to go through the mountains. Okay, guys. So, we got the annexation on them. Or not the, not the annexation on them. Uh, well, but, can I just nuke it right now? Oh, yes, I can. I'm, I kind of want there to be like more holes in the lines, because then it'll be easier to like penetrate. So. Um, main assault. Okay, so we've just finished the invasion of Iowa, which took like three seconds, and now it is part of our great empire. Now, just like what I said, I'm gonna invade West Virginia. Fine, I'll do it. It'll probably be really hard. That's okay. Well, there is some. 
but not very much of it, like in this area, not like in Coolville. I wonder, has any, if, it would be cool if, like, someone who is watching this video, actually, is there, like, does this actually exist, if you're from, like, Ohio, does that city, does Coolville really exist? I really love it. And if it does, why is it gone? Yeah, I, I guess, maybe there's, like, some guy, last name Cool or something. I don't know, I'll get to, okay, so, West Virginia, well, it's about to die, I guess, you could say. So, well, let me just, well, I have a ton of main power, so I, I guess this wouldn't be too bad. And also, West Virginia probably won't have the air superiority that I would, which is pretty good for us. But not for them, because... Well, I mostly want to see... Well, it'll probably work in, like... It probably won't work in battles. So... Do I... I don't have any... There's not... There's not just part of superiority, which is... Okay, so taking on West Virginia actually wasn't that bad. And if I just made it like that, it would look pretty good. But I'm not going to do that. I'm going to take all of West Virginia. Because it also looks pretty good with West Virginia. Virginia's land, I guess. Well, that is true. But I don't think I need, I don't need Virginia in this like, thing. And also they went commie. Like every other place. So I'm gonna probably start well going to invade Missouri? Yeah, Missouri. Why how did I forget that? But it's probably not gonna be the easiest thing. Well, actually, I don't know. It could be easy, or it could be really, really hard. Whatever. Okay, so we now have the war goal in Missouri. Now, sometimes they have like 300 troops. They don't. It's good. Okay, so we've just taken out Missouri. Now, if I took this, the borders would look disgusting. But if I took it, Everything. Then it's beautiful. And it also has this little blue thing in it. That exists. And that's a problem. Okay, so I just noticed we have this formal, which is the Great Lakes. So I just want that because cores and stuff. So, well, I get cores on this now, so nothing really happens here. Do I have, I don't get cores, which is not very fun, but it doesn't really matter, because they're, they're basically stopped by now, so. Now, I'm about to go to war with, well, this little version of Dixie, which is in the name, I guess, but. It, it doesn't have a focus tree, which is weird. I guess they just had the idea and they feel like forgetting it. So, I'm gonna go to war with them and Candace at the same time. That kind of sounds stupid, but it's not really, because they're both weak as hell, so... I guess... Well, if you're from Kansas, it, I guess it's not that weak now. Kind of are, it's basically just farmland out here. So anyway... I'll tell you when I'm at war with both. I'll probably have. Yeah. Okay, so. Wait, I forgot to turn on the music. Okay, 
So we're at war with both of these states now. So I think I'll just do this. Fucking ass. Okay, we'll just watch this. Watch the chaos unfold. Okay, sorry for that, but oh, they're basically dead. Well, so is Kansas. I don't even think I really need air superior, so I'm not gonna do that. Or really nukes or any of me. Why does that keep doing that? I don't know. But after this, I think I'm gonna invade Nebraska, and that's basically it, because this game is getting really, really laggy. I think after this, it's probably just gonna be easy, I guess. Cause. Cause really, all we have now is. Nebraska. I think that's. Is, isn't it only Nebraska in the Bund? I think it is. And maybe some other states, I don't know. Let me check. Yeah, only Nebraska. That's all that's left, which is amazing, I guess. Because it's the last one until we have. Until, like, until we're like done with this thing, I guess. So, anyway. I'm not done yet, though. So. Okay, guys, just did it. This is basically in the end of this game now. Well, not really. But Nebraska isn't really the easiest. Well, it's not really the hardest to take down. And, yep, as you see with all of the green. I think this is going to be pretty easy. And I, yeah, let's just see this thing. Because, well... Once I can do this, I can finally form German American Bund. And well, I don't know. It just felt like well, this is the first time I actually ever done this. Usually I fail as Pennsylvania because I don't know. It's just a bit hard to play as it, I guess. And well, you're not really the biggest starting out. Like this is usually the area that I was having troubles with, like, with New York, West Virginia, but as you finally, like, start to actually get better at the game, it's just incredible, I guess, that, well, well, eventually, once you get out to, like, these desert states, it's really easy, oh, no, so I think, I think they worked out some so I anyway, We have done it. We have reunited the German American Bund, mostly populated by, well, German Americans. Although nowadays, there's a lot in like Idaho, Montana, Wyoming, like that, those states, and maybe like, well, not Virginia. I I guess some states might not have as many, but this is around the area where they were back in the day. So anyway, I'll see you next time. And, well, thank you for the extra another 100 subscribers. 233 subscribers now. And, well, having 100 views on each video, I didn't really expect that would happen so fast. Like, I made this channel. I started, like, doing videos, like, one, maybe two years ago. I did not expect to be making this much views. And, well, I guess it's just amazing though so anyway thank you please subscribe like the video or don't like it i don't know maybe you might not like it because i annexed 
Arkansas like all the time, and they still exist because I don't really care about Arkansas. So anyway, see ya. Uh, well, I I might play this more like off camera. No, I won't. But anyway, I'll see you tomorrow. Well, not tomorrow. Probably not posting tomorrow. I'll see you maybe someday again.